This is a quick lesson for page 24 on Math Pace 1089. Um, I was helping a student uh, work through this pace recently, and this, this page tended to give him uh, a good bit of difficulty. And uh, so I thought, well, maybe it would help some others as well. So let's talk through uh, just how to set up these problems. I think the thing that's different about this is we have a half inch equaling five feet, okay? So we're dealing with fractions, and of course that always makes a problem a little more confusing and complicated, but we can do this, okay? So we could, um, and then we want to find out well, how many feet are in four and one-fourth inches. So let's first set it up this way and say one-half inch and put that over five feet equals, and then we're going to say n for the number of feet, because we don't know, uh, excuse me, I need to put that down here, sorry. And uh, we have four and one fourth, all right? Uh, so, so we have inches is to feet as inches is to feet. This is the unknown. I can get rid of these, um, these units now and just solve the problem. So let's cross multiply. And so one half n equals and now to multiply this, we turn this into 17 over 4 times 5 over 1, okay? And what would that be? 80, 85 over 4. <clears throat> and then to solve it, we need to get rid of this fraction. So we're going to divide by a half, which is the same as multiplying by 2 over 1. And so then that will cancel, n equals, cancel, and we get 85 over 2. And then I'll let you plug that into, uh, you know, put 85 under the doghouse and divide by 2, and then you'll get the answer, okay? So you actually get a fraction or a decimal for the answer. And uh, let's talk about this one on um, further down on the page, 1 centimeter equals 12 kilometers. So again, let's set it up as centimeters is to kilometers as centimeters is to kilometers. Now which one don't I know? I don't know centimeters. So I'm going to put the n up here for the unknown number. But I do know that I have 183 down here for the number of kilometers. All right. So now I can ignore the units and just cross multiply. 12 times n equals 1 times 183. See how easy this method is? I love ratios. They're so easy. And the last step is we just divide by 12. And you do that on both sides. And I'm not going to finish the problem for you because that is one of your problems that you're supposed to do on page 24. But we've set it all up. And uh, you'll do the same thing for the uh, other problems on that page. Hopefully that helps you.